This is sort of a sad CU podcast story. Um, a Twitch streamer died during a 24-hour marathon. World of Tanks streamer Brian uh, Poshibrid Vignolt, Poshibrid being his, his name uh, on Twitch, died from unknown causes on February 19th after streaming for 22 hours, 35 years old, father of three. Streaming to uh, raise money for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Um, there's video of this, at least his condition. He looks absolutely, I mean, terrible. Absolutely terrible. Um, and then the reportedly um, around around 3.30 a.m., 22 hours into the stream, uh, he went up to go smoke. Viewers thought he'd fallen asleep. Next day, they found him uh, there, and he wasn't responding. So, uh, Virginia Beach, Beach Police Department confirmed that they are investigating uh, uh, the cause of death. He was well-liked among the community for World of Tanks, the game he streamed most often, and many who were close to him are now mourning. They're keeping up his Twitch page as a tribute to him. Um, what can you say about, about this? I mean, it, obviously this is horrible that this happened. Um... It's not. It's very hard to go through these, these, these marathons without sleep. I know Ian gets on me. If I can be serious, he gets on me. It makes fun of me for trying to sleep even a half hour or an hour during the NES marathons now. But it's so taxing on you mentally uh, and on your body physically, not uh, depriving yourself of sleep. And not saying I'm, I was going to die during any of the NES marathons, but. You always have that weird possibility if you're not in good health to begin with and you're pushing your body to those sort of limits and you are, you know, deprived, depriving yourself of basically resting your brain, which, which is, the, you know, the computer, the CPU of your entire body. You have to not, you have to realize when you're getting to a point where this could be dangerous. And according to this, this is something he did so, sort of regularly where he, he did long streams. And unfortunately, that's where the quote-unquote industry is, or I guess what you have to do to be successful as a Twitch streamer is that it's demanding. We're talking 50, 60 hours a week, if not more, where you have to stream for your uh, followers, people that are paying to see you, or your subscribers in general, in order to keep up with it. Or else, you know what? Those people that are watching Twitch, they'll just go to someone else playing the similar game or someone else. It's constant entertainment that has to be provided. Which is why whenever I think about I want to get into streaming, if I want to uh, sacrifice the time to do that versus doing the podcast, versus doing a more long-form uh, edited video, um, working on a book project, it's the amount of t is the amount of time and effort worth the risk in me getting that following? And then what's my reward if I stream for 50, 60 hours a week? Yes, it could be fun playing games, but it's also a job. I have a family member that does it as a full-time job, and I know it's very hard to keep up with the work because if you're sick, if you want to take time off for either mental health or just because, hey, people need time off from quote-unquote work, you can easily lose your uh, your followers, subscribers, which means losing your basic income for doing that job. So for me then, when I look at it, streaming becomes... It's just, to me, the same thing as, an, as a 9 to 5 or 8 to 5 or 9 to 7 job where you're shackled and have to do this even if you're not feeling up to the task of doing it. You have to do it. So at that point, it's no longer fun anymore. It just becomes any other job responsibility. And that's what sort of keeps me from wanting to engage it and wanting to do it. Uh, because it, at least at least trying to think about it being a full-time job. Maybe it's, it's a generational thing. You know, if I'm a teenager, early 20s, maybe I think, well, this is cool, everyone's doing it. I don't know. It's just not for me. But this is a danger. I'm not saying if he wasn't a streamer uh, doing this, pushing himself, this wouldn't have happened. I'm not sure how his health was otherwise. But it's not healthy to push yourself without sleep uh, multiple times a week. You know, they've, they've studied, uh, you know, lab rats and deprived them of sleep and sometimes they die. I mean, this is just, it's just, you have to rest. Your, your brain's telling you to shut down for a reason when you fall asleep. I mean, I, I've fallen asleep during the, the last NES marathon. Vonnie trying to keep me up. I fell asleep for 10 seconds during the first NES marathon before waking up after uh, an energy drink kicked in. You know, even when you're struggling, struggling for consciousness, when your brain's forcing you to shut down, that's probably for a pretty good reason. So, 
this is a very unfortunate, sad, sad case. Uh, so thoughts out to uh, his friends and family, people that watched uh, Brian Vignal. It's tragic, especially since he was doing it for a good cause. But uh, yeah, rest, rest is uh, rest is essential. Sleep, sleep deprivation is is serious, serious business.